Hi everybody. Okay, so we are going to be talking about the requirements for the next belt test, December 2020. Okay, our green stripe, we have six stripes. Our green stripe is the first stripe. Okay, you have to be able to explain the importance of our words of the week since our last belt promotion test. So you have to be able to explain three of those words. Okay, and we'll have a list uh, for you at the bottom under this uh, video. Um, besides the three words, all ages have to be able to do that. Our heroes and our Teen Titans also have to be able to tie their own belt correctly. Okay, and we'll have that in here for you as well. Our yellow stripe is the punching combination. Uh, we're gonna show you that. Our red stripe is our self-defense stripe. Um, and we're gonna show you those things. So we have to do bump and roll escape from mount. We have to do the shrimp escape from side control, the scissor sweep from guard. And then our heroes and teens also need to do a submission, which is the cross collar choke uh, from guard. Our purple stripe. Purple stripe is the guard pass, so we call it the Toriando pass, or the bullfighter pass, all ages. We're gonna do guard pass to side control, side control to mount, and then mount, the other, our partner's gonna roll over, we're gonna do a back take. Now our heroes and our teens, they're gonna have to add a neon belly in that, and we'll show you the difference in those two scenarios, okay? Our blue stripe, little heroes are one through 10, heroes and teens are all 19 moves, okay? And then the black stripe, the black stripe is 25 push-ups in one minute, good quality push-ups, and 25 squats in one minute, again, good quality squats, okay? So let's do your best, all right? We have several weeks to get all these stripes done, so let's try and do it as best we can, okay? All right, so find the middle of your belt first and put it right on your belly button, okay? Then come to the back and bring both ends back to the front. Once you come back to the front, one of them is gonna be over the other one, okay? So this one's coming over. Whichever one's coming over goes under everything, and here you're gonna pull it tight. Now the one that just went through is gonna go through your belt loop and parallel to your other uh, side, okay? Now this side comes through that hole and through one of your belt loops and pull it tight. So our yellow stripe is two parts. We're gonna be doing a strike accommodation, but the holder's job is just as important as the striker's job. So we need to make sure that we're both doing a good job as best we can, okay? So, yeah, cross, slip, cross. I step back, he does an axe kick. I step back, he does a ground kick. Again, ground kick. This time I come halfway, he does a lot of chuggy. Now I'm gonna make up that distance to him. He's gonna do a roll and a hook. Then he goes, uppercut, same hand, cross. Okay, so let's do that one more time. control or to shrimp out you want to take my your left arm put it in front of their neck and then take your other arm your right one and put it in this little hold and take your right leg through this like hole and you want to wrap around the leg that's closest to you and then you can just wrap around both legs and then you're in guard. We're gonna be doing the scissor sweep from guard. You wanna take your left hand and put it on their sleeve and grab it. And then take your right hand and grab their collar, like where their collarbone is. Then you wanna turn on your side, put your knee through here so your foot is in their armpit and put your knee on the floor, like wrapped around their leg, like their knee 
the back of your knee touching the front of theirs. And then you want to pull, look, kick. Go. Okay, so we're going to do the cross collar trick. So you put your left hand in really deep until you feel the tap or the, or the back of the neck. And then move them this way. Turn yourself this way. And then grab right here. There's sort of like a handle there. And then pull down into the ear. Okay, so for our purple stripe for all ages, we have to do what we call a guard pass, a Toriando guard pass, the bullfighter guard pass. Okay, and then we're gonna progress all the way through it. So we start with this grips on the knees, we push, we back up, we push the legs away from us. And then we go all the way to side control. So we drop down to side control and we get to side control. Okay, next we're gonna put our hand here and I step over to mount and I have a good wide base. We're gonna do, have the partner roll over. I'm gonna get my leg out of the way so I don't get run over. And when he goes to get up, I put my hooks in, which are my feet in front of his body, and my hands go into the seatbelt, and my head gets snuggled in, okay? So for our heroes and our teams, we're gonna add one element. We do the same Toriano pass. I get my grip, I push, I pull, I get out of the way, I push them away from me. I get to side control from here. I reach through and I grab his collar. My other hand grabs his knee. I'm gonna jump to my feet. One knee goes on his belly and then I'm gonna pull up with my arms and push down with my knee. And then I can go to mount and then to the back. So with the rolls, I get out of the way. Let him get up, seatbelts, hooks, snuggle head, and that's it. So for our purple stripe, we're going to be doing, for the heroes and teens, they have to do two submissions. Okay, this is one of them. We start in side control. He has his hand in front of my neck, trying to shrimp out and get here. So I'm gonna take my hand out from behind his head and two hands are gonna go on this arm, okay? One at the elbow, one at the wrist. I'm gonna push it to the floor and I put my elbow on the floor right here. Now I take this hand, I can let go of that and I reach underneath his arm and I grab my own hand. And now I kind of rotate his hand away, can bring it down towards his belt a little bit and then slowly lift his elbow up. Okay, this is an Americana. All right, so one more time without it, okay? We're gonna do arm bar from mount, okay? The person on bottom is gonna push straight up and I'm gonna go over and under with my arms. Whichever one I go over, I attack, so it's gonna be this one. Okay? So I scoop my knee up by his ear and I flip my foot next to his other ear. Now make sure I put a whole bunch of weight down on his arm, make it really uncomfortable, okay? I'm gonna balance out with my left arm over here and in this case, I'm gonna take both arms. I'm gonna grab the back of his tricep on this side. I'm gonna step over, sit back, and pull both until I get the arm that I want. And then I can lift up my butt and get the tap. 